Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm leading you through a 20 minute abs and arms circuit. So today with me I have a set of 10 pound dumbbells. I'm keeping it nice and simple today, but please use whatever you have available to you at home. You are going to need something soft beneath you and make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so today we're gonna to be working in supersets, meaning two exercises at a time. We'll repeat each superset before we move on. First exercise, coming into a high plank. You're going to tap opposite toe to hand, back to center. So switching, using that core for stability. If this is too hard, you can just bring one knee in at a time, keeping both hands down on the mat. Second exercise in this set, you're gonna come down on your bum. You're gonna need your weights. You're gonna do a narrow shoulder press, so palms are facing each other. Press it up, bring it down. You're sitting slightly back, so I'm not all the way straight here. Using that core, then bringing opposite elbow to knee, back down, press it up. And crunch. So as you're doing this crunch, you are seated back. You're not fully up here. You wanna use that core, so sit back into this. work you can set those dumbbells down we're gonna do the same two exercises so coming back into our high plank tapping opposite toes Make sure you're in a nice straight plank. Don't let that booty poke up. Keep it nice and low. Nice job coming on our bums. Here we go, seated slightly back, close those ribs, engage that core. job set those weights down we're gonna flip it back over we're gonna do a push-up and then as you come up from your push-up you can take this push-up on your toes or on your knees down as you come up you're gonna bring one toe in other toe in down
Nice job. Next exercise, you're gonna be kneeling. You can do this with one or both of your weights depending on how heavy your dumbbells are. But you're gonna hold the dumbbell, you're gonna brace your core, you're gonna have a slight bend in your elbows and you're gonna lift it for a front raise and back down. Nice and simple, you'll feel this in the fronts of your shoulders and you should also feel this in your core as well. So don't let the upper body waver. You shouldn't be sitting back into this. Stay up nice and tall. Keep your bum tucked under and keep your rib cage closed. Make sure you're not lifting your hands above your shoulders. shake repeating those two so starting off with our push-ups when you're doing your push-ups try and keep your elbows close to your body rather than flaring them out to the side if you keep them tucked you're going to use a little bit more of your triceps think about really using that chest to come up and then keep that core nice and strong so i'm not arching my back as i'm doing a push-up here i'm keeping that core tight and strong and engaged then coming up to a plank Bringing one foot in, other foot in. position, tilt that pelvis under, close that rib cage. And from here, you're just moving the arms. full sit up so you're going to sit all the way down again you can do this with two or a single dumbbell you're going to hold the dumbbell up we're going to do a full sit up coming up nice flat back here and then control use that core on the way down About closing that rib cage, bringing your belly button to your spine. Exhale as you sit up. And don't spend too much time down here at the bottom of your rep. Next up, same thing, one or two dumbbells, you're on your back. This time we're gonna do a leg drop with a sit up. So you're coming down, everything is extended, bringing it up, lifting the shoulder blades up and crunch. As you're bringing this down, do not let your lower back look like this. Keep the legs a little bit higher if you need to and press that lower back into the floor. Make sure you're keeping your elbows slightly bent as well. They do not need to be fully straight. You don't wanna wreck your arms that way. Whew. Nice 
nice job. Take a breather down here. All right, full sit-ups, here we go. Arms up. Keep these arms coming directly out from your shoulders the whole time. And your goal here is to not use momentum. So don't swing this dumbbell forward to pull yourself up. Keep it up here. Use that core, take it nice and slow if you need to. modify this exercise you can also bend your legs and tap your heels down to the floor for the leg drop Work. We're gonna flip it over into a high plank. You can do this exercise holding both dumbbells if that's gonna support your wrists. Otherwise, we're just using one. You're gonna swing it over. Actually, we're not swinging. We're doing this nice and controlled. <laughs> Bringing the arm up, pressing this directly out from your shoulder, and then control, bring it down, use that core. yourself lifted in this plank. Nice job. We're going to flip it over. Sitting on our bums. You're going to twist and you're going to sit it up and you're going to press. Twist and press. As you twist, come down, bring this dumbbell down right beside your hip and make sure we're not arching our back here. Keep it nice and flat, tuck that pelvis under. So exhale as you twist, inhale as you press. flipping it over. When you're doing these planks and you're here in this side plank, use your back and keep everything nice and strong here. Use that arm, bring it around and control it down to the floor.
nice job. One more round of twists. Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. The feeling lingers on every day of every month. Wishing I just could forget about you. The way to come out. Really sit back into your twist. Nice job. All right, last exercise. You're gonna need both weights. You could also do this with one. You're on your back. Arms are directly up out from your shoulders, backs pressed to the floor, and we're just switching our legs for some scissor kicks here. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. If you need to bend the top one, you can also do that. Just make sure your heels hover above the ground the whole time. Nice job. Second exercise is a side plank with some dips. I saved the best until the very end. So make sure you're stacking your shoulder above your elbow. You're gonna come into this beautiful side plank, lift those hips up, squeeze this side, control yourself lower down and up. If you need to modify, you can bend the knees here. Do the same thing, squeeze, feel that crunch, Control, slowly lower the hip, and back up. Grab those weights back on our back. We're almost there. A few more seconds. Nice job. Last round, you guys. Other side of that side plank. Push through, it's only 45 seconds. Here we go. Keep those ribs closed. Think about belly button to spine.
Great job, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this 20 minute abs and arms circuit. If you did, give this video a thumbs up for me. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.